What's going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters in the body of Messiah? This is Walking by Faith, and uh, I'm coming to make this brief video to further expound on what I on on the, the video that I made yesterday about once saved, always saved. Now, I don't know. I, I guess call it a light bulb moment, or call it. Abba Father or Messiah dropped it in my spirit to make uh, to make this video, whatever. Point is, is this: in my very, very humble opinion, okay, I believe that once saved people that teach once saved always saved, and people that follow once saved always saved. Um, are ungrateful for what Messiah did for not only them but for what what Messiah did for others on the cross he suffered and he bared all the sins of the world for us he made that ultimate sacrifice for us now in in his human side he was fearful about what he was about to face, but he ain't, and he knew what was coming. That's why in the, in the very late hours of the morning, he told his disciples to stay up and pray with him and for him. And he went off in private and spoke to Abba Father and said, Abba Father, if it's your will, please pass this cup. Please pass this cup beyond me. Because his flesh was scared. The spirit was willing, but the flesh was scared of what he would have to endure and what he did endure. So my thing is, is this. You people, you people that believe in this once saved always saved or teach this once saved always saved you profess out of your mouth that you love Messiah that is your Lord and Savior you accepted him into your your hearts completely and you again you accepted him as your Lord and Savior so if you love him with all your heart and you profess out of your lips that he is your Lord and Savior, then why are you taking for granted what he did for all of us on the cross? Why would you want to continue to hurt him? Why would you want to why would you want to hurt his heart? Why would you want to hurt the, the, the Ruach, the, the Holy Spirit's heart? Why would you want to hurt Abba Father's heart? Why would you want to hurt Messiah's heart? Because every time you sin, willingly sin against Messiah and Abba Father you're hurting their hearts you are hurting them it's like you pulling out a dagger and stabbing them in the heart and twisting it so that the wound that the wound won't heal so again how can you profess out of your mouth that Messiah is your Lord and Savior and you love him with all your heart but yet you are teaching contrary to what his true gospel is and you are trampling on the ultimate sacrifice that he did on the cross of calvary he was beat to a bloody pulp he was mocked and scoffed they put a crown of thorns on his head and called him the king of jews they stabbed him in his side with a long spear that went straight through to his heart and then blood and water started pouring out. He was thirsty and wanted water. But instead they gave him vinegar, uh, vinegar on a sponge. And at any given moment, he could have called up to Abba Father and told Abba Father to send legions upon legions of angels to come down and rescue him. But he didn't. He, was, he made the most unselfish sacrifice that any human being could ever make 
And he stayed up on that cross and he bared the sins of the world for you and me. He bared it. He bared it all. And before he gave up the ghost, he cried out to Abba Father and he said, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why have you forsaken me? That is the last words that he said before he gave up the ghost. So if you really truly accept him as your Lord and Savior, if you really truly believe deep down to your very core, to your very being, to your deep down to the very chambers of your heart, that he is your Lord and Savior, why would you keep willingly sinning against him and Abba Father? Why would you keep pu pulling that dagger out and stabbing him in his heart? Why would you keep breaking his heart into a million pieces? If you are truly sealed by the Holy Spirit, if you are truly sealed by his spirit, you would, you, you would hate yourself for, sin, for willingly sin, sin, sinning against him. Because I can't speak for anybody else but me personally. I can't bear to hurt Abba Father's heart or Messiah's heart. I can't bear to break their hearts. I feel, I feel like a piece of dirt under somebody's boots every time I sin against Abba Father and Messiah. So why... Why would you take for granted what he did for you by continuing to willingly sin against him and, and continue to stab him in his heart? Why? Please. Somebody make that make sense for me. To me. Please. Because if you was truly of Messiah, if you was truly of Abba Father, you would... Do a 180. You would, you would turn away from your old ways. You would denounce this world. You would denounce Satan. You would stomp Satan under your feet. You would not conform to the ways of the world. Because, because the ways of the world. And if you are of the world. Then you are of Satan. And if you, will, if you willingly participate in the ways of the world. You are of Satan. You are not of Messiah. You are not of Abba Father. So with that being said, I digress. But please, somebody asked me that question. You say you love Messiah. You say that you accepted him in your heart completely. You yielded your life over to him. So why would you want to continue to keep willingly sin against him when you know that breaks their hearts? That breaks Messiah's heart and that breaks Abba Father's heart. Why would you want to keep willingly sin instead of turning away from your sins and coming to Abba Father's throne with a contrite heart and asking him to forgive you and attempt to not continue to keep willingly sin? So with all that being said, I love you as all my brothers and sisters in Messiah. Father loves you. Father bless you. Father keep you. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.